Hey, I'm Chris with Mobility Solutions. AffordableMedicalUSA.com is our website. I have someone right here that, Gary, he came to see us and he bought the Baja Bandit, but he was calling about some other scooters and I wanted to bring him on to do, people are always asking, should I get the Pursuit? Should I get the Baja? Should I get the PX4? Well, there's different reasons for him. So he went with the Baja Bandit. So kind of, can you tell us a little bit about your experience? I will, yeah, sure. Well. First off, I have property, uh, rough property, about four acres, run with two big dogs. And I was looking for off-road capabilities, but also wanted to be able to go into a store with it. And I'm so petite, I decided a small scooter was the way to go. So I really started out my journey looking at Baja Wranglers. That wasn't gonna work in the stores. I got to ride a Pursuit, checked it out. I really liked it and I thought, well, I'm just not sure. And the PX4 came on the market. And I can see it online like everybody can, all over the place. Where I live, I called Pride and I said, look, I'll drive five hours to see one. And they gave me names of stores that had them. Chris's was one of them. The other places I called, no, we don't have it, we're not getting it. Chris said, you know what, I sold mine, but if you're really wanting one, I'll get it and let you try it. Now, in my opinion, a man who owns a business is willing to order a scooter just on the chance you might want to buy it says something. So that started our relationship. Unfortunately for me, I learned that my car wouldn't haul the scooter I wanted. Started doing research again. Baja Bandit. Well, you look online and you see the ads that have Wrangler, um, the Pursuit, and the Baja side by side. Man, this one looks mighty small. Well, I can tell you as I'm standing beside it, six foot tall and 350 pounds, it ain't all that small. But I can tell you from personal experience so far, I've been all over my property with this thing. It's been through Lowe's Home Improvement. It's been through Walmart. It's been through my mother-in-law's senior center going up the elevator to the third floor and all about it. And the people in that place loved it. They wanted to take it away from me. My experience here has been nothing short of amazing. Chris has called me back. He has answered all my questions. And in fact, while I'm here today, I think I'm going to pick out my new uh, lift chair to take home. Can't recommend this place enough. They're great people. They're knowledgeable people. And you got to love the Baja Bandit. You want to be off-road and in stores, this is a scooter for you. Yeah, thank you so much. So this thing's doing everything you want it to do. I know we just had a talk. Some people complain about the wheels. These are going to be hard. They're not air wheels. So there's a plus and a minus now. He just told me he had a rock in one of them. If that was an air wheel, that would have been a problem. Yep, but. it was. When I, I found we got on the hard, hard ground to go to my mother-in-law's the other day, and it was clicking. I had my wife look, and she says, I, I can't kick it out. And I grabbed a pair of pliers, and I pulled a rock, probably close to an inch long, out of the tread on the back wheel on this, pulled it out, and just went on down the road. No worries at all with it. So that's another plus to this scooter. I will tell you, a lot of people think about suspension. Out road is a bumpy. This has a spring in the seat. It has a spring underneath the front. And I'll tell you what, I can go up and down my 350 foot gravel driveway full of potholes. And this thing vibrates and rattles and shakes. And I can hold a glass of tea and not spill a drop. Oh, wow. Great suspension. Cool. Now, if, but if you're looking for something just a little bit bigger, here's the Pursuit. This is an awesome scooter too, but you're not going to be able to take it to Lowe's you're not gonna be able to take this apart, even though we, we took this apart out of it and put it in this car, it's heavy. It I, I don't claim for it to be light. If anyone says, oh man, easy comes apart, throwing back the car, no problems, it's heavy. So there's another reason why he's here is to talk about lifts. We're gonna probably go with a tri-lift for this, um, this scooter. We also have done an AL100, just shipped one of those up to Virginia. So Harmar saying it won't work, but we have tested it, it does work for the AL100. Um, do, why, I mean, you did try this. Do you like this scooter? I mean, comfort-wise, well, did uh, you see anything I do. Different? I love the scooter. It's comfortable. It does what I wanted to do outside when I rode it. Yeah. I just felt it was, it was honestly too big, too big for going in the stores with it. I, I think it would work. Um, I just don't think it's going to be convenient in the stores. I think you're going to run into tight aisles. Yes. And so far, this one, I will say I've left the armrests off of this. And it just makes it that much easier getting around in the stores with it. But um, 
overall, this would, this would be my combination scooter to go to. Let me, let me, this is a 36 volt system. You actually can get it with dual batteries. He has the dual batteries. You can buy it with a single battery. You might not need the dual batteries, but if you want to increase your range by doubling it, get the dual batteries. You can always add it later too, just so you know. And you can charge this separate. Now, here's a key thing. If you're buying a mobility scooter and you're looking for something to be in your yard, he's telling you how this can handle but you also want to go to Disney World, Dollywood, Carowinds, Six Flags, do trips with your, your kids, whatever it is. This scooter right here, even though I love the Pursuit, is too big. It is big enough to go to like the fairs and stuff, but if you try to take this to Disney World, it, I don't think it's going to pass. Um, they have like a box supposedly you pull into. It's not going to be able to go on the buses, um, but it is a lightweight scooter because of the lithium batteries. So just keep that in mind, you know, if you want something just for your yard, this is probably it. But if you want something that you can take places and use in your yard, this is it. Now I'm gonna give the edge to the Pursuit. It will outperform the Baja Bandit, but the Baja Bandit is a very nice rugged scooter, meant to be strong. There's a skid plate under here. I don't know if anyone, have you had any problems with any rocks getting? One. Did you and take the, the skid plate off? the rock was as big as a softball. And okay. I, once I figured out what that was, I did not take the skid plate off. Okay. So well, we took this, with it. Yeah, yeah, we took the skid plate off because it got bogged down and really thick, still slag in the back, which I tell people, you're probably not going to have it as thick mm -hmm. as what we have back there. But we have big 18-wheelers, big trucks coming in. So I, over, I put a lot of rock back there. So cool. That, that was awesome, man. I really well, appreciate that. And I want it, well, all right, so what do you not like about this scooter? Like, seriously, what do you not like? You know, I can't think of anything that I would tell you I don't like, uh, even the battery range. I mean, I went with the dual batteries because I'm figuring as big as I am, it's going to stress that it's going to go. But I can tell you guys, I had this on my property for over an hour uh, when I first got it home. And the next day I took it out and I was about an hour. The third day I was about an hour and it had not dropped one bar on here. I put it on the charger uh, that evening and it was about four hours. It was fully charged. It was ready to go again. The day I went to the stores, we went out. It gave me back my mobility. I hadn't been able to go in the stores for quite a while. And we spent about three hours in Lowe's. I think I saw everything there. We did our shopping in a, in a big Walmart super center. We had five or six hours on it that day, took it home. Battery gauge hadn't dropped a bit. And so, I mean, I did charge it up like you're supposed to to keep it going and ready to go, but I have every confidence that when uh, I take this on trips, that I'll get the full day use out of it and not have to worry about having to push it home. Mm -hmm. All right, guys, thank you so much. Gary, thank you so much. Thank Seriously, you, that, I appreciate That is awesome. You. I like to do these videos because people just, they, they can't really get out and shop. And mm -hmm. I think it's good. I mean, I hope you would say there's an issue with us with this. I try to do true videos and he likes it. He's a great guy. We're, he and he comes what two hours? Two hours to get down here, and I got to tell you, it's it's worth the drive. It, it is. I've been treated like royalty both trips down here, and I'll be back. Everybody I can bring this way, I'm going to. Yeah, that means a lot. Thanks so much. And if you have any questions, just give us a call at 803-926-2224. Both of these scooters might might not be the right scooter for you, but if you are looking at the Pursuit or the Baja, and you can't make up your mind which one you want. I hope this video helps you out with that. Check us out at affordablemedicalusa.com.